In this video, I want to demonstrate how students can attend an online session using Moodle from any location that has internet capability, whether it's inside the classroom or elsewhere in the world. Um, many courses will allow students to participate in classroom activities even when they can't attend class. And so I want to show you how one of the ways that you can do this. There's a tool called Big Blue Button that is available in Moodle. It's one of the kinds of activities that can be set up uh, online. And uh, in this particular course, um, uh, this is an orientation for the Williams Lake campus. Uh, it's a, a site that's been set up. And one of the things that I want you to be able to, um, to see um, is uh, how the um, uh, you can engage in an online uh, session using Big Blue Button. Now I've got a couple of them here just so that you can, and they've been set up to be open so that we'll be able to eventually go in to them. I want you to notice the logo on the left hand side is the corporate logo for Big Blue Button and then notice that the particular classroom this online virtual space that you have can be set up according to the particular kind of gathering so it might be a philosophy cafe if you're taking one of my philosophy classes or it might be an ethics cafe in an ethics course in this case I've got two classrooms set up one that is specifically for Moodle training and that's an online space again, but it may be linked to an actual classroom activity, particularly during the orientation sessions of, uh, at the campus at the beginning of the year. Uh, and then there is an online help center. Um, this would be a, a virtual classroom for people who can't come to class or can't come to the campus, but who need some sort of computer-based help. We're uh, hoping to have that, and I hope to have that uh, label corrected soon as far as the spelling goes. Um, we go into a classroom just by clicking on the link, and uh, although you get a little bit different response, depending upon the system that you're using and the browser that you're using. I'm using a Mac system right now and uh, Firefox is my browser. And so this is the way the display looks. Um, when I'm ready to join a session, I can uh, click the blue button to join a session and a new tab is open on my screen. Uh, it's a big blue button plug-in for Moodle and so it's not native to the Moodle system but it still has the same privacy protections that you would have from within Moodle. So this may take a while to set up. Uh, the other tab that I came from is still available, it's still open, um, and this is what um, I as a moderator see. I have a session that is uh, the possibility exists for me to join the session and then I can end the session. Um, over time, there will be recordings shown down below for sessions that you may have missed, maybe joining late and that sort of thing. Um, this seems to be taking a long time to set up, so I'm just going to pause the recording until that load is completed. Okay, that didn't actually take very long, but um, once you have um, successfully joined the classroom, there is a question that the um, program wants you to make a uh, decision uh, is whether you want to participate using a microphone or participate in listen-only mode. Um, a lot of people like to join using listen-only mode, um, but it is important that at least somebody has a microphone. Now, I may get a feedback through the system if I click the microphone since I'm also recording um, using the microphone, so we'll see how this works. Um, there is usually some sort of audio, audio test, test and um, that's working so and then I can uh, start recording and um, be able to um, pick up the uh, audio um, now other classmates who are joined in in Big Blue Button would be um, 
appearing here over on the left hand side of the screen. Um, in the center part of the screen there is um, the possibility for your instructor to upload slides for everyone within the class and outside of class to see. And over on the right hand side there are options for chat input. This is a back channel that can run in, in combination with the um, 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 with the lecture or whatever is happening in the class session uh, as well. Um, the um, possibility of using a, um, a webcam uh, is also available and so that allows you to see your instructor directly. Uh, as a user you also have the possibility of, of um, uh, videoing yourself into the classroom. Uh, in many circumstances, in, uh, students won't want to do that uh, either because they want to keep the bandwidth as narrow as possible so that um, they're not um, having a problem with uh, um, uh, poor uh, performance of the system because there's too much information having to be uh, having to be shared at one time. Uh, and there's probably a limit to how many webcams you could have. I think they, they get rather tiny when you have more than three or four of them. So, but that allows um, for at least a few people uh, from outside to be seen if you have guest speakers to be able to have them uh, on camera. Uh, it's very helpful and uh, gives you uh, very much the feel that you're a part of the class and and which you are uh, you're just an online part of the class so I'm going to um, uh, now click the uh, button to start the recording um, now we're beginning to uh, actually hold uh, an online session so um, this will hopefully be share be uh, kept as a recording that students can uh, click on and uh, later on I'll show you how to access online recordings. Uh, I'm just going to uh, um, not keep this very long because it's just for demonstration purposes and I'm just going to close down my uh, webcam and um, I, I will let you know that as a participant, even if you participate using your microphone, you can mute your mic at any time. You can set things up so that you um, just to hold your space bar down when you want to speak and that when you release it, then your mic is turned off. And that helps in case of, cases where there's a lot of background noise. Um, so this has been an, a demonstration of how to use uh, Big Blue Button. We're going to end the session now and um, within uh, the video that we're producing I've shown you how to get onto the, the system when you want to uh, actually close it you can just close down the tab that you're using um, and it will um, bring you back to the Moodle uh, tab that you joined the session on uh, as a moderator uh, I have this end session button and I'm going to click to end the session so that then that short recording will be uploaded to the Moodle site and will be available eventually down in this area um, for watching if uh, people weren't able to be a part of the class but still want to uh, watch the recording. So this now you can see that the conference room is once again ready. We could start a new session but we don't need to. We'll just end here.